Ooh, welcome everyone is gay on here g welcome it's saturday it's april 29th 2023 the last saturday in april so today i'm going to talk about what foods you should eat if you have diabetes Woohoo! welcome everyone hope you're having a fabulous saturday so i'm getting my information from the american diabetes association okay so i want to share about four foods that are good um, that you should eat if you have diabetes I think they're sharing about eight things in here so i'm going to share four this week and then next week i'm going to share another four so let's talk about foods that you should eat if you have diabetes now um and the reason why i last week i did a video on if, can you reverse diabetes um yes you can and because you know for me that i'm <clears throat> at uh, that at that stage of pre-diabetes you know i'm really um doing a lifestyle change for myself to reverse it so I'm working on that i'm going to reverse it and so you'll continue to see uh, i'm going to continue to do videos about diabetes because it's important it's an epidemic a lot of us are dealing with it so let's talk about so what kind of foods what, what do they recommend here that we should eat if we have diabetes or you know pre-diabetes or if you are diabetic type 2 diabetes um so first thing that they, uh, they talk about here the american um, diabetes association is beans um, kidney, pinto, navy, black beans are packed with vitamins and minerals such as magnesium and potassium. They are very high in fiber too. So beans is number one on the list. Okay. So beans do contain carbohydrates, but a half a cup also provides as much protein as an ounce of meat without the saturated fat. So beans is number one. Number two is dark green leafy vegetables. Spinach, colors, and kale are dark green leafy vegetables packed with vitamins and minerals such as vitamin A, C, E, and K, iron, calcium, and potassium. These powerhouse foods are low in calories and carbohydrates too. So leafy greens is number two. Um, so you can put them in your salads, you know, your soups, your stew, and you make your, your scrambled egg, you can put them in your scrambled eggs. So they're uh, leafy greens. Um, dark leafy greens and beans number one number three um cit citrus fruits grape um, grapefruit oranges lemons limes pick your favorite to get your daily dose of fiber vitamin c folate and potassium so citrus fruits grapefruits oranges lemons limes so i put um i drink you know uh, i add lemons to my water every day so i drink lemon water every day so get get your citrus fruits in your diet um so again, we have number one is beans, number two is uh, dark green leafy vegetables, number three is citrus, citrus fruits, and number four I'm going to share today is berries. Which are your favorites? Is it blueberries, strawberries, another variety? Regardless, they're all packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. Berries can be a great option to satisfy your sweet tooth, and they provide an added benefit of vitamin C, vitamin K, magnesium, potassium, and fiber. Last one I'm gonna share. So I said I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do five, and then I'm gonna share more next week. Um, number five on the list is tomatoes. The good news is that no matter how you like your tomatoes, pureed, raw, or in a sauce, they're they're eating vital nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin E, and potassium. So so um, tomatoes made the list. So for the so today I shared five foods that you should eat. You should be adding this to your diet if you have diabetes. Let's go, let's this quick review. Number five, tomatoes. Number four, berries. Number um, three, citrus fruits. Number uh, two, dark green leafy vegetables. And number one is beans. So if you have diabetes, these are foods that you should add in, that you should add to your diet and be creative. So try to make, you know, you know, having diabetes, one of the things is, is lifestyle change. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere. You can't feel self-defeated. Just get up and do it. Take it one step at a time. Start eating healthier. Start losing weight. A lot of people that's, you know, a lot of us, that, you know, if you're overweight, belly fat, those things contribute to, to type 2 diabetes. So if you need, if you, if you need to lose weight, um, that's one of the things that you, you know, that you, that's on your top list to do. Um, I do have a weight loss um, guide that I can offer you, which is three, um, three mistakes to avoid if you're trying to lose weight and these are mistakes that most of us are doing while we can't look while we can't get or meet our weight loss goals so i share three mistakes to avoid so if you want to get that guide it's free you can let me know you can throw, throw me a one here in the comment or a yes in the comment i'll shoot that guide over to you 
and so weight loss is something that you, that's one of the things that you need to that you need to achieve um you can message me or just drop a one or a yes in the comment and i'll shoot that guide over to you so that's my help tip for this week so again as i mentioned last week I'll, my goal is to become at least on saturdays you know on saturday share a what i share a help a help tip for the week so this is my my weekly help tip foods that you should eat if you have diabetes next week i'm going to share some more foods that you should be eating if you have diabetes i'm going to, so I'm going to continue this lesson share some more foods next week that's it for today have a fabulous weekend thanks for being here thanks for taking your time and again if you if you need if you weight loss something that, you, that you're struggling with if you want that free guide it's only one pager so one pager let me know and i'll shoot that over to you drop me a one or yes in a comment and i'll get that um weight loss guide over to you have a wonderful day god bless this is g signing off see y'all god willing next saturday i'll be sharing another health tip have a wonderful week everyone and a great weekend